At the MagLab, we don't just use the world's most powerful magnets to conduct research, we design and build them. Here, we're in the MagLab's magnet-making areas. Drag the video to explore in 360 degrees. We're world leaders in making all kinds of electromagnets, superconducting, resistive, hybrid, and pulsed. Let's start in the resistive magnet shop, where conventional electricity generates high magnetic fields when electrons travel through flat plates or disks called bitter disks, piled on top of one another in nested coils. As the electrons travel and turn through each disk, a strong magnetic field is created right in the center, which is where our researchers put their samples to be studied. These disks are like the building blocks of our magnets. It takes hundreds of them to make one magnet. Depending on the magnet specification, the disks may be made of pure copper, an excellent conductor, or of a copper alloy like copper beryllium, copper zirconium, or copper silver. A lot of science and engineering goes into determining the precise shape, size, number, and pattern of holes on any particular plate, which vary from magnet to magnet. Every plate gets checked, double-checked, and checked again during the magnet building process. The smaller holes on the bitter disks are for cooling, funneling vast amounts of cold water through the magnet, as much as 4,000 gallons a minute. In the mid-1990s, MagLab engineers figured out that elongated holes, as opposed to round ones, arranged in staggered rows would greatly increase the coil's ability to withstand stress and result in higher magnetic fields. These disks are known as Florida bitters. Spare coils are stacked and stored for the future to ensure that magnets are always in peak condition to enable amazing scientific discoveries. Superconducting magnets are also made on site. Superconductors conduct electricity with no resistance or friction. That means once current is flowing, it flows unimpeded as long as the material is cooled to very cool temperatures. In this shop, state-of-the-art high-temperature superconducting coils are wound for future world record instruments, including a new 40 Tesla all-superconducting magnet currently in development. A programmable winder helps create layer-wound and pancake-style coils. Joints, terminals, and other custom items are also created here using specialized hardware, and all components are then assembled into complete systems that are ready to use. In this high bay winding shop, a cable and conduit conductor spool winds a special kind of superconductor. When superconducting cable and conduit is made, the cable itself is squished into a rectangular shape using a device called a tube mill. More than a thousand unbroken yards of metal gets wound very carefully onto this giant spool in the same way you'd take up thread into a sewing machine. The spool has to be supersized because winding around anything smaller could put unwanted stress on the metal. Winding the cable is a time-consuming process, with about four feet of cable completed per minute. Here, our magnet engineers build coils that weigh six tons and weld tubes as small as one-eighth of an inch in diameter. The process to build these large-scale superconducting magnets includes not just winding, but heat treatment, vacuum pressure impregnation, and assembly. A coil gets placed into a furnace and reacted at 700 degrees Celsius. Once reacted, the coil is placed in a vacuum chamber where the windings are filled with a special epoxy developed at the lab to strengthen the coil, preparing it for the stress it will undergo during operation. Final assembly may include induction welding and brazing, helium leak testing, milling and machining, cryogen testing, and chemical etching. Large pulsed magnet coils are also fabricated at the MagLab. Pulsed magnets operate at very high stress levels, so small flaws can reduce the magnet's lifetime. MagLab experts apply rigorous quality controls and knowledge of high strength conductors to extend the lifetime of these pulse magnet coils ensuring more groundbreaking research gets done.